Okay, so here is a very short high level overview over the CloudFormation template options. So there's a lot of options you can do when you upload a CloudFormation templates. And the first one is going to be tags. So when we specify a tag in CloudFormation, these tags will be passed on to every single resource created by CloudFormation, which is quite handy. Permissions is for us to be able to specify an IAM role to create all the resources within CloudFormation. Notification options is to receive all these events around how your CloudFormation stack is doing to an SNS topic. Timeout is to say how long you're willing to wait before declaring that the CloudFormation template stack creation has failed. Rollback on failure is allowing you to not being able to delete your resources if in case they're not being created correctly, the first stack, um, they're not going to be rolled back. So by default, uh, rollback is happening, but you can disable it. Rollback configuration, which is allowing you to set up a time or a specific CloudFormation, uh, CloudWatch alarm, sorry, to trigger a rollback. Stack policy, we'll see in detail later on. Termination protection is a way for you to disable the deletion of your CloudFormation template accidentally. And quick start link is a way for you to create this CloudFormation template very quickly. Now we'll see all of them in greater details during the course, but I want to show you very quickly where they are in the console so that you at least have a first look at them. But don't worry, this course will go over them one by one. So let's create a stack. My template is ready and we can just choose, for example, again, this one creating S3 bucket stack. So here we can enter a stack name. So demo S3, a demo stack is going to be great. Next, and now we have the stack options. So tags is that if you set, for example, department engineering as part of this CloudFormation tag, st uh, stack, then all the resources created, for example, including your S3 bucket, will inherit these stacks. So your S3 bucket will also have a tag named department, and the value of this tag is going to be engineering. Permissions is a way for you to pass on an IAM role that will the CloudFormation will leverage to create all the resources. So for example, you as a person does not have access to create an S3 bucket, but a role has, you can pass on that role to CloudFormation and make sure the CloudFormation leverages the role instead. Otherwise, CloudFormation will use your permissions, the user uh, using CloudFormation to create the resources. Now for advanced options, we'll see stack policies in detail, but they allow you to be protected from unintentional deletes, uh, unintentional updates, sorry, during a stack updates. Uh, rollback configuration is how long you want to be able to monitor this uh, uh, stack before you roll back. So you can specify a time and a specific CloudWatch alarm. Notification options is for you to specify an SNS topic to receive notifications regarding your CloudFormation uh, stack updates and creation. So you can create an SNS topic and then reference it here. Stack creation options allow you to disable rollback on failure. That means that in case you're creating a stack but you want to debug what's happening, instead of deleting all the resources being created right away, so this is called a rollback, you can disable it and be in a debuggable state. Timeout is how long you should wait before a stack creation times out. So you can say, for example, five minutes. Termination protection is to prevent the stack from being accidentally deleted. So you can say enabled, for example. Click on next. And then you can review all these options right here. As we can see at the very bottom, we get some information around the stack creation options. So for example, rollback on failure disabled, timeout five minutes, and termination protections enabled. I'm not going to create the stack, but it gives you an idea of how things work. And we get the quick create link as well available here. All these options will be studied in greater detail, but I just want to give you a quick overview of this screen so that you don't feel like we just left it out, okay? So that's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next lecture.